Hello class, in this video we will talk about area type tool. Okay, first let's see if I want to fill my text in a circle. So here I can go to the ellipse tool. Oops, click on that and switch to the ellipse tool. And for fill color, let's uh, disable it. And for the stroke, I wanted to give it a black color so I know how big it is. Alright, so I draw a circle here. And then we'll switch to the type tool and we'll use the area type tool and you can click on the point you would like to start once you click on that you can see that the circle turn transparent right and then you can type whatever you want and here I'll just fill a paragraph or text and as you can see that now it follow this shape and if you have more text you will just hidden right so I can select the whole thing and uh, I can make it smaller Right, and then I can continue to paste my text here. And then let's see what if uh, you want some of the text a little bit bigger. So you can go to in the middle here, you can select individual text, and you can just increase the size of it, and, uh, and other text will correspond to the change you have applied, and it will move and it will shift to the other side. Now let's see if you have a paragraph of a text and you want to insert a graphic, uh, a pattern into it. So we'll need to ramp our text based on the shape of the pattern you created. Okay, so here we'll switch back to type tool. And here I can draw a area, a text box, and I can just type my text here. And I'll make it smaller, let's see, about 2. Okay, and I'll fill the text. Now you can see that the text is on top of a graphic. So first, we'll need to select the graphic, and we'll go to the tool menu, object, arrange, and bring it to the front. So it will on top of the text. Okay, and then select the graphic, and go to tool menu, and go to object, text ramp, and make, and just click on OK. So it'll ramp everything, all of the text inside of this um, layer. And that's how it looks. And if you don't like it, you can go back to text ramp and open the options. And here we can lower down the offset and uh, we can preview and see how it looks. So we can shrink it down to maybe about one, wait, maybe about two. All right, and then we can click on OK. And uh, if you don't like uh, here, how it looks here, you can just move it aside. The reason why it feels text here because here we have a gap, right? There's a no pattern there, so uh, there's a few ways to do to change it. So you can either double click on in this group, and then you can manually create something. Um, I can change the field color to white color and create something, and then I can go to arrange and send it to the back alright and now if you exit as you can see that it will push the text away that's the matter it will do or without creating a whiteboard you can just simply place your text on the side and it's fine it's not overlap with that area okay so that's how you would insert a graphic into the paragraph of text